Right, so we're going to look at, there's other time we're going to look at certain topics. The topic, the first topic of what I, I we chose, um, I think it's was Mayer's, I think Mayer's suggested something similar to this. Um, and it's the backdrop of this topic about asking for tests, asking Hashem to test us or asking Hashem not to test us. So Yossi, you just said, um, do we ask Hashem to test us? So we find many times we ask Hashem not to test us. We, we say that part of trying to overcome and be successful in a, in a Nisayon, in a test, is that we pray to Hashem to help us. Um, but we're going to see examples where Hashem, where we're going to see an example with David HaMelech, where he asked Hashem to test him. And, the, 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 and there's a few quite fundamental points of understanding us, uh, the way that we serve Hashem um, that will come through going through this topic. Um, I don't think we'll finish everything today. Um, and it's going to be on the backdrop, the, the, the setting is the story of David and Bathsheba, David Amelech and Bathsheba. So I don't think we're going to go through the, um, we're not going to understand the nitty gritty of the story today. We're going to go through the story to have to get the idea of it, but maybe next week we'll discuss more the ins and outs of what David Amelech was doing. Um, here, today I want to more discuss the concept of David HaMelech we find asked to be tested and what exactly he was trying to do, why he was asking to be tested and what does that mean for us, what can we learn from it. So let's just start off with a rough, um, a rough summary of, of the uh, basic outline of the story of, of David HaMelech. So, Bat- so Batsheva was, was one of the wives of David HaMelech eventually and she was the mother of Shlomo HaMelech, right? She was the mother of of Shlomo, who went, who carried on the dynasty, he carried on from David Amelech, and he built the Beit Hamikdash. So the story went. The story goes that he. It, I'm going to say it now in the simple terms from the Psukim, from the way it's presented in, in the in the Tanakh, the way it's presented in the Navi, and then we're going to we're going to interweave the Gemara. That there's a Gemara in Sanhedrin that gives us extra detail about what happened and a kind of backdrop to it and a, an introduction to it. So the story, simply put, is that David Amelech saw this woman washing on the, she was showering, uh, washing on, on the rooftop, and he had a big yetzara for her, a big, um, desire. big desire for her, and he said, bring her to me, and the pasuk points out that she was, it seems at face value she was married, or she had, the question is, he'd gone to war, her husband had gone to war, Uriah Chiti had gone to war, so he came to her, she came to him, he had relations with her, she, she conceived, he then, the child that was conceived was, was, uh, died, and then he, then he eventually, her husband was, he sent her husband out to war, he sent Uriah to the front line, the battle line, so that he should, and he got killed in battle. Uriah Kiti, is, we're told, is one of the great warriors of, of David Amelech. He wasn't just like some private or something, he was, he was a... What the we're oh, we're going to come to all that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good question. <laughs> loads of questions. There's loads of questions. We're going to try and get through some. I don't know if we'll answer all the questions. There's some that are really difficult. I'll just give you a rough outline. He sent him to the front line. He got killed. He, he then he married Batsheva, and, and she she was his the, the, one of his main wives. She was the mother of David of Shlomo HaMelech. Um, this is very dangerous because uh, Rav Avigdor Miller is, is, is says I think uh, um, yeah Rav Avigdor Miller is going to have said that learning Nach at face value that we do Nach on Shabbat so and we do it with uh, Mefarshim and everything learning nach, nach at face value is a bit like going into a chemist and eating taking medicines off the shelf at at, at random where you could do you can end up really causing doing terrible damage because the so Kim here without the added information, the added understanding of the Chachamim, of our tradition, of how this was given, how it happened, really you can lead you to very bad uh, conclusions. Um, so let's just start off, we're going to go, th- we, will, we will go through the story, um, I don't know whether we'll get through the whole story today, but I want to go start with the, the way the Gemara brings it in, in the Gemara in Sanhedrin. So the Gemara in Sanhedrin says, is source two, says that there was some subplot here, David Amelech didn't just randomly see this woman on the on the on the rooftop, and uh, it didn't just happen like that. There was some reason why it came about. And the Gemara says in Sanhedrin, if you see the shaded part, and it was grey when I on my computer, so it went, went green. But anyway, um, you see the sh- have you have it here? No, no, I'm with the pen. The the if you see it, it says Amar Amarav, the top line. Amarav Yehuda Amarav. 
Rabbi Huda says in the name of Rav, Le'olam al yavi adam atzmo lidei nisayon. A person should never bring himself, cause himself, try and invite a test on himself. We go through tests in our life, every day of our lives, we go through tests, the Yetzirah, it's constantly testing us, whether to do Averot, to not do Mitzvot, constantly at us, the whole time. But don't bring yourself to an, a, 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 a Nisayon, a situation, of it. don't invite one on. Why? How, why not? Even if you think, meaning, oh, oh, of course, it, it's obvious that you shouldn't put yourself in a situation where you would do Averot, right? Don't go into some restaurant that's got beautiful smelling food, which is not kosher, and you sit there and say, I'm really, and you just put yourself, and, and you invite yourself to, to be nichshal, to, to trip, to fail. Don't put yourself in a place where you can see things that people they shouldn't be looking at. But here it means don't bring yourself to a nisayon where you, you feel that I'm strong and I want to overcome my yetzirah. I want to put myself in a situation where the yetzirah increase the desire or, or pull of the yetzirah so that I can overcome it. And that I'll do a mitzvah like that. The Rav, Rav's telling us don't, don't be so clever, don't do that. Why? The example that we have is Shaharei, David Melech Israel, and note just the wording, just note all the words of the Gemara. It's interesting, it doesn't say David HaMelech, David Melech Israel, David the King of Israel. He brought himself to be tested, and he failed. How so? He said, he said to Hashem, He said, why is it when we when we say the Amidah do we start off Baruch Hashem Elokeinu Gavotenu Elokei Avraham Elokei Tzad Elokei Yaakov? Now I don't know if at that time the we know that the, the format that we have for the Amidah was instituted historically. We're talking with time of David Amelech, We're talking about the, before the first Beit Hamikdash was built. So we're talking some four hundred eighty years after we came into Eretz Israel. Sorry. Well, it's five years after we came and came to Israel with David HaMelech, and the Beit HaMikdash was built just after that. Then another 400 years later, the Beit HaMikdash, first Beit HaMikdash was destroyed by the Babylonians. And then there were 70 years of exile. And then just at the beginning of the second Beit HaMikdash, it's like another 500 years later or more, the Anashek Knesset HaGedola, which was Ezra, Sofer, and he convened the men of the Great Assembly. And he instituted the, ex, the, the, the exact text of the, of the Amidah, of, of the Kriyat Shema, Bukat Kriyat Shema, of Bav Shama, I think is also from there. The very, very, the, the Institute of the Text of the, um, of the tef, of Tefillah. So back in the days of David HaMelech, I'm not sure whether they said, when somebody stood to pray, people still prayed back then. So what did people do in that time? How do, what, what did people do back in the days of David HaMelech when they were going to pray? They didn't have a Beit HaMidah. So it says Shema, yeah, but did they do any Amidah? They did any Tefillah? No. Well, Chana did. Before David, she stood yeah, there. She, stood there she, yeah. she had an idea of tefillah. But we don't have the format. There was no fixed format. So, person, there was a concept of tefillah. Sorry. They made it up. They made it up. Yeah, yeah. they stood Everybody there and they, and they prayed and they understood. They were probably more in touch with their, what Hashem wanted from them, what their 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 avodah was, they, the, what they needed to pray for, and they and they and they made something up. But having said that, it could be that some of the bits that we have in our tefillah were back then already. It could be that there's no sach they could say, okay, I've run the case, it's just now shaking this, and the said that you have to say it. So it could be some bits originate from there. I mean, the Hazan et Akol, Bikat Amazon, comes from Moshe Rabbeinu. He yeah. brought that new sach. So some bits were very early. So whether they actually said, okay, I've run the case, I'm not sure those, that words, but the Gemara certainly means to say that David Amelech said, the fact is people come to do the Amidah, and they invoke, the first thing they do is they invoke the, 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 the memory, the zechut, the, the, the merit of the avot. That's the first thing they do. They say, the God of Abraham, God of Yitzchak, God of Abraham. The first thing when you stand to pray to Hashem. So, and that seems that would, the people were doing it back then as well. And he wanted to know, so what does he ask them? He asks Hashem, why do they say, And they don't say the God of David. It's quite obvious, no? What? So why not? They were tested and then he didn't say Oh, that's, your, that's the Gemara. Well, you're, you're, you're reading ahead. We didn't get, that's no, what the Gemara's going to say. I didn't read it. No. I said, that's what the Gemara's going to say. Yeah, the Gemara's going to say. But I have a question before that. What does it mean? What, what, what did it, why do you want people to say, okay, David? David. Why did he care? Why? why what, first of all, why, why? Because he was the first Melech Israel. No, he wasn't. Well, he wasn't no. the second. 
Was a second. What what what's, what does he gain by what, what's what's the purpose? What's the meaning of this Gemara? What what does it mean to say Eloke David? What, what would it mean? What would it add to him? Why did he care? He gets his name up in in, sh- in bright lights. No, I think he's doing it's very differently. He said, I think he's, he, he's saying despite because of that, they don't say Eloke David. Because of what? Because I failed and didn't fail. So the, obviously the merit of them of the avot were there. The avot mm-hmm. were. Now so, you're, you're, you're answering the next. I'm, I want to know ah. why he wanted them to say okay, David. What did he? What did he? What did he? He says he said that. Don't understand why they say okay. I'm going to say okay, David. Yaakov. The end on me, okay, David. Why? Why did he need them to say? Why does he care if people said it? Well, what, what's, what does it add to him? What did, if I, people said that okay, dog, would, would it add anything? Would I be any better off if it that way? What, what, what's the meaning of that there? How do we understand that? So let's ask another question. Let's step back a step. Yeah, I think actually, I think actually, the 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 Benish Chai on this Gemara asked this. What was he saying about Eloke David? What about Eloke Moshe Rabbeinu? He didn't say Eloke Moshe Rabbeinu. Why does he need, think he needs his name in in the Amidah? So let's step back a step. I think there's another question we have to answer first. Is what does it mean to say Eloke Avraham? What's the significance of that? What what is it? What's the covenant? The covenant, the merit, their their bond, their bond with Hashem. We are named after them, right? I'm sorry, I'm named after Avot. So it's the Avot. It's the Avot. Right. So that's very important. That's very significant. So that's very important. The three fathers, well, they're, they're the four fathers. They're the four fathers. Right. Oh. That's it's very... it can do thousands of... So, what, yeah, we can't have okay this, and we're going to go through like on Yom Kippur with yeah. 100 uh, yeah. anemones yeah. of different. Yeah. But what, what's the. So, we te- so, there's two things here, I guess. I guess uh, there's two points. What does it mean to say uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov? Is that you're saying because they're the Avot? And secondly, why, what's Eloke? Why do we need to say Eloke, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, God of Yaakov? So, that Rafa is saying is we're saying we're reminding, we're remembering that they're. Zuchut, their connection, it's more than their merit, really. We're not just invoking their merit. We're not just saying, you know, in the merit of Avraham, you should answer my tefillot. It's more than that. I think it's like Ravi Sinti, too, that, that we're, 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 we're reminding Hashem, we're invoking the, mem- the fact that they had this bond with Hashem, this, this brit, this covenant with Hashem. That, that's important. And that's... Right. Uh, okay. So way of identifying our share. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so the thing, God that was with Abraham, the same God that was with Yitzchak, the same God with Yaakov is our God. Yeah, and, and that's the connection we have. But I think he wants to say that Eloke means Eloke means that you can only say I think Maral says this, you can only say about someone it's the he's the God of this person when he's completely this person has shown to be completely subservient to Hashem. Somebody who is completely does the will of Hashem, completely bound to the will of Hashem, completely connected to Hashem, like Avraham Yitzchak and Yaakov, you can say Elokei Avraham, Elokei Yitzchak, Elokei Yaakov. You can call it, say that he's, he's the God of that person. Because that person, we see Hashem, we see in that person, oh, who's his God, Hashem? That's what we see. Because he's so, such an avid of, 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 of Hashem, he's so subservient to Hashem. His whole life is to serve Hashem. And we say, Avraham Yitzhak and Yaakov, so, the, so that's the Eloke, but then the, the, why Avraham Yitzhak and Yaakov? Because they were the ones who were so subservient to Hashem. But like, like Albert's saying, and like Michelle was saying, they, the Avot, They're, we are products of the Avot, and we want to say that we want to, be, we want to connect to that, we want to be like that, we want to be, in, we want to be a part of that. So we want to come before Hashem, and connect to him in the same way as Abraham, as you were the God of Abraham, as Abraham worshipped you, as Abraham did everything that you want, you required of him. And that's how we want to come before you completely subservient, like, like, a, like a, a servant. So what's David HaMelech saying? David HaMelech is coming along and saying, well, what, what does David HaMelech want? So there's lots of people who were very... Are, well, there weren't other people, really, who we can say are so are such examples of connection to Hashem. 
Well, you say Moshe Rabbeinu. What about Moshe Rabbeinu? So the question is then. Let's ask another question. So this is taking us back to understand a bit more, a bit further back. Why? What's unique about Rabbi Yitzchak Yaakov? They're the Avot. Why is Moshe Rabbeinu not called an Av? Why is Moshe Rabbeinu not one of the Avot? Because it was late, he was missed the... F- no, it, it was the 12 tribes, and from 12 tribes start Am Yisrael. Oh, yeah. So you have Avam, and we, as we know, Ishmael went, and they went to Yitzhak, then Yisrael went, they went to Yaakov, and there's the 12 tribes. They were the very first ones. So but chronologically, they were the first ones, and we came from them, so they happened to be the first ones. No, they started, they started, okay, I don't have to... But they, they sort of started the religion. Yeah, they, they were the, the, they, are the, they are they the, the, uh, the, the, the roots, the, the, roots. the roots, yes, yeah. they're the roots. So, so could, could somebody later be an Av, in theory? No, no you think not. So, so this Gemara, according to the you Mephashim, is... You can have Moshe Rabbeinu, Aaron Akoyim, you can have lots of titles. Be, yeah, yeah. But no, Shmuel could be an Av, yeah. So, this Gemara, it seems, and a lot of commentaries understand it, that, that David HaMelech would have... Let me read you a pasuk. This I brought this pasuk here. Look at this pasuk. Number one. Look at source one. Ve'yeimcha. This is a pasuk in Shmuel, and 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 I think this is God Hanavi or either Natan or God is saying that Hashem says Ve'yeimcha. I will be with you. Bechol Hashem Alachta. Wherever you go, Va'achrita et kol oyevecha mi panecha. I'm going to just take away all the enemies from before you. Va'asiti lech Hashem Gadol, Keshem Agedolim Hashem Ba'aretz. I'm going to give you a name like the great names, like the great, the great, those great ones who were in the land. Who are the Shema Gedolim Hashem Ba'aretz? Who are who are this referring to? And the first one explain is the Avot. That this is before this Masev Batsheva, before this incident. So one second, one second. One second, one second. One second. That he was saying, you really will reach, you potentially could reach the level as one of one of the Avot. Who said to whom? Hashem is saying to David HaMelech. Now, you're asking how well, he's too Sorry. late. The religion has been going for 2,000, 1,000 years already. Well, how can it be an Av? So, there is, so, uh, a person, Hashem. Sorry? So, I will. He did. I would. He, I want to. David Melech is, is is a bigger a bigger as he can have, but you cannot be like them. You have. So a, he a he wanted. He said. So you. So what is his question? Let's go back to the Gemara. Yeah. It says, ma, ma, Why do they? He says to Hashem, which are the Avot. David. He wanted to say Eloke David. So what's the question? How can you say Eloke David? They're not the Avot. He's not an Av. What, what's the what's the what's David Amelech asking? Maybe David Amelech believed that he should be an Av. Ah, yeah. yeah. Now it's chronologically not, but he understood that he is giving something to the Jewish people in terms of Avodah, in terms of the service of Hashem, that like the Avot gave. What now? What, what do we mean by that? Yes. Let me let me. So let's talk a bit about the Avot a minute. The Avot gave each one had his own. Area of Avodat Hashem. So you talk about Abraham Avinu is the, is the Chesed, Gimilu Chasadim. He's the one who first perceived Akadosh Baruch Hu. Yitzchak is we call it the Gevura. It's the uh, Yirat Shamayim. It's the Avodah. He was a, he was a, a korban. He went went to be like a korban on the Mizbeach. Complete complete fear of Hashem. So Abraham Avinu is the love of Hashem. If you want, is the Gimilu Chasadim. Is trying to get people to recognize Hashem. Yitzchak. Is complete servitude, complete giving himself over to Hashem, like a, like a korban, and Yaakov is a mixture of the two because really these two are in a way opposites. You've got love of Hashem and you've got fear of Hashem, and yet Yaakov was a combination of the two, and that's the Torah. It's the Torah is the is the tenene met to Yaakov, and once we had the three together. Once we had the three together, that formed the basis, that was the Sharashim, as, as the Malbim explains. That's the end of Sefer Bereshit, and that forms the basis for, for the Am Yisrael, that we have all the ways of serving Hashem within those three Avot. So everything we do, everything we do is replicating, is taking a little piece of the way that Hash, the, the Avot served Hashem. They've shown us the way, they've shown us, they've given us the manual, they've given us the ability to serve Hashem, they've shown us how to do it in different ways. And, and, and everything we do, all the types of avodah come into one aspect of, of the service of Hashem. That's what an av is. That's what we mean by the avot. It's not just there are chronology our fathers. They showed us, and that's called ma'aseh avot siman nabanim. They set the path for us. Right? Is that clear? What did you say, David? I couldn't understand the flip that 
Three pillars, yes. And on that, and that's why the beginning of Sefer Shemot starts the Anafim, it starts the so branches. Why David is asking this so David Amelech thought that he had some other aspect to bring to Avodat Hashem that would be the fourth dimension of, 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 of Avodat Hashem. And the, the, the Midrash says, this Midrash, in, Midrash Rabbah says that Vayal Hashem Me'al Yaakov, it says in Pashat, I think, Vayishlach, that HaKadosh Baruch was talking to Yaakov before he went down to Eretz Canaan and he, and, he, and he rose from Yaakov, he rose up from Yaakov to stop, finish speaking to him. The Midrash says, the famous Midrash says, that we see from here that the Avot are Merkava Lashchina. They are a chariot for the Shechina. What, what do we mean by chariot? It means that they are a way, they are like if the queen, the king, the queen is riding through the town. So in order that the queen can see everyone, everyone can see the splendor, the majesty of, of the queen. The, the chariot that carries the queen is what enables everyone to see the queen, everyone to appreciate the greatness of, of, the, of, the, of the, the king or the queen. That chariot, when you have a person who people can see the greatness of Hashem through them, can perceive the Hashem in this world through them, that's a Merkaval, that's like a chariot of someone, of the, queen, the king riding on him. That's the, the Avot of the Merkaval Shechina. And it says that the three, if you've got three legs or three wheels on this chariot, would be Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. But David Amelech understood that he's the fourth wheel, that he should be, bring something else that hadn't been brought up to now into the realms of Avodat Hashem. I think, I think this is what he's done for. Well, we're going to see what's up. Because yeah. he thought like that, see, that's why he's seen. Because what well, he thought he was greater than he yes. was. But that's why I'm bringing you this first pasuk. The Mepharshim explained, Vasit Hashem Gadol, Keshem HaGedolim, Hashem HaGedolim, is the name of the Gedolim, is the Avot, that I will make you like an Av. Yeah, I will make you, but not an Av. It's like, that know, would be an Av. It's, like, it's like we have the, 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 the Tzomot. Yeah, the, the fast. fast, yeah. The Chachamim brought the fast. The, 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 there were lots of Me'oraot Ba'olam. Yes. But they, are, they categorized them into those fasts, and every fast and is related it, to one. Has trees happen, then it goes into, yes. Otherwise, you'll fast the whole year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what the Chachamim do. Yes, the yes. same with the Avot. We have three Avot, and every one yes. is related to so the other So he, yeah, 100%, but he thought that he's giving something new, a different category, a new category, if you want, a new category of Avodat Hashem. Oh, what, what is it? Yeah. Well, we're going to see what it, we'll see eventually oh, okay, what it is. Okay. But we're still trying to understand what, it, we'll see eventually what it is. Sorry? Pardon? Malchut. malchut. Yeah, what do you mean by Malchut? What's Malchut? That sounds capitalistic, Malchut. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds, that's too deep. I don't know what that means. Not really. I didn't say anything. I'd say anything capitalistic. Huh? is capitalistic. Merkaval is a major shrabba. I don't know if that's good. Everyone can be a, everyone can be a Merkaval is in Prince. I mean, the Avot were the archetypal, the, the, pro, the, the, the real Merkaval is They brought, the, before Avraham Avinu, there was no one new. People were just watching Avot Azara. It was a free for all. Before I have a video. So they are exactly what also. What's the difference between Shem, Shem who sat and learned Torah and Noach and, and Metushelach and Hanoch and Avraham? What's the difference? And then because and that's later. That's later. That's later. That's later. After that But what did they do? Shmuel was even before the Vidamir. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what did they do? Because they were they served Hashem, but everybody around was doing their own thing. Nobody perceived Hashem and they looked at Shem. When nobody thought, nobody saw the greatness of Hashem when they looked at Noah. He was 120 years building the Teva. They didn't. When Avraham Avinu came along, when it says by Krab Hashem Hashem, when it says in the pasuk that Avraham Avinu is called in the name Hashem, the Ramban says, the Ramban says, what's the simple understanding of that? Just simple terms. It means he built a mizbeach and he gathered people together and he, he did a kiruv. He gathered people together and he made the whole uh, event. And people saw we're bringing a korban to Hashem, we're eating food, we encourage people to, to recognize Hashem. People, Konesh Amayim Ba'aretz, Hashem, Abraham had been a cause that um, up until him, people did not perceive Hashem. And he start, people started to see, wow, this is a, a world that Hashem is running it. That is called Mekavah L'Shechina. That means you're not just serving Hashem, it means that you're, you're, you're bringing sorry. out yeah. Kavod Shamayim. David Amelech, we're going to see how, hopefully, we're going to, David Amelech, 
thought okay. that he could do do it in a new way. Each one of the avot had a different angle, a different way of bringing out the, the greatness of Hashem. And whenever we do, whenever we, in our small way, bring out the greatness of Hashem, when we do a mitzvah, when we do something kind, when we fulfill the will of Hashem, we also bring out the, the Kavod Shamayim. That's what we're doing. We're bringing out the Shekhinah. We're bringing out perception of Hashem. We're doing it in a small way. We're taking a little chunk out of the avot, of the, what they did in their great way. David Amenech thought, I, I'm also should be in that list I should be up there with them and therefore he said why am I not on the, why am I not saying David why am I not there so David Hashem art says to him so is that clear what his yeah, question yeah. was that's good you yeah David you're looking so a bit uh, you're with, you, yeah you're, you're with us okay good, good. so um, the, the Gemara carries on and Hashem says to him you know why I'll tell you why when they're not saying it okay David Amar so this is one, two, three, six, six, six lines down. Amma, he said, in who minsuli? This is just look at the wording here, because the are explanation point out this wording. He said, they were tested to me. They passed tests to me. He says, Lee, the atlo minsitli. You didn't. You were never tested to me. And and here's the, the lashon of testing is a lashon nisayon, a, a test. When? <coughs> when were they tested? They were tested in their no, lives. No, when, they, when, were he? when was he not tested? So he said, you ne- were never tested. No, you were never you tested. You were never yes. tested. I was, the Avot were tested, and they passed with flying colours. You, you were never tested. So you don't think you're an Av. You're not an Av. An av. So just the first question is, why is, why is being tested a gauge of be call, being called an Av, getting into the, getting in the record, getting into the, being be mentioned in, in the Shemona Yisrael? Uh, I think very much following what we're saying. What does it mean to be tested? That, that's, let's, work, let's work that out first. What does it mean to be tested? How loyal, how, how much you want to, how much you make, you're close to Kaddish, you're close how, to, you how, how loyal you are. And, and Nisayon means to be, to be tested, then it means to make Minashon Nes, to, yes. to, show a, to show a sign, like the, a Nes, in the Nasa Nes La Goyim. You, you, sh- you pronounce, you proclaim, you sh- everyone can see that you're... Um, that you're that you're that you're, you're you're committed to Hashem, completely committed. So they were not tested. They were tested and they passed. You were not tested. You were never tested. We're going to come back to that. I want to yeah. talk more about what it means to be tested. But let's just go. Let's carry on with the story a little bit. And here the Gemara tells us a little introduction to the story of Bathsheba. So he says, Amal lefanav. Yeah, in whom means to leave out lo means sitli. Amal lefanav. He says, Ribono Shalom. He says, Hashem. He says, test me, check me and test me. He said, go on, give me a test then. Give me a test. <laughs> and this is, the, this is what we start off by saying. You shouldn't bring tests on yourself. Don't say to Hashem, test me. He says, test me. The Pasuk says, Just get the Okay, I'm sorry, I should have had it ready. I'm going to read it inside here. Ravid Amelech says, Behaneni Adonai Vinaseni, check me and test me. He says, Two Lashonot, Livchon and to Linasot. Sorfa Kilotai Vilibi. Sorfa means Lashon, Litrof Kesef, to refine, to, to, um, when, when you, when you, you, um, you yeah. fire something to to to, to like you forge it to no, like to, to refine it. Like yes? The gold. The gold. You melt it, or you or you want to or you want to shape it. So do that. Kilo tayvili be my heart and my my and my organs. You should you should test me. Put, give me a hard test, and that will refine me and will strengthen me. So he's asking Hashem to test him. So Hashem says, "You want a test? Okay, I'm going to give you a test." He says, "Ama." I said, I will test you, and I'm going to do with something, do something with you. That means the masinalach. He says, I'm going to do something different with you. He says, the others, I didn't tell them I'm going to give you a test. I didn't give them advance warning. He didn't get a letter and post 30 days before, you know, Abraham, I'm going to give you a test. Just be ready for the test. Prepare yourself. He appeared to him suddenly. Go to Israel. 
do this, go and go and go and worship so, 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 straight up, right? Whereas you, I'm going, he said to him, I'm going to test you, so brace yourself, get ready for it, brace yourself, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. I'm going to test you. And, and David Amelech, it says here, two <laughs> steps. He says, and what? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to test you with something in desires, in, in, in yeah. physical desires. So we, you get ready. Oh, I'm not, I don't know. 18. 18 already? Yeah. He had only 18. He had. Oh. Eighteen, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're fit. Yeah. Exactly. So, so he. Well, then listen, listen. Look at the next Gemara. That's a big question. That's not easy. To... So, so let's see the Gemara. He says, "I'm going to, I'm going to test you with Devar Eva. So I'm telling you, I'm going to test you. Get ready, and I'm going to tell you what it's going to be about. So don't worry about if you go past some nice food or some wealth or some. Uh, you won't. That won't be there. That is, it's look out for a woman that you see. That's that's going to be the test. So you know to keep away. What happened? Miad immediately. This it says, "Vayhila et erev." That evening, Vayakom David me'amish kavod. David got up. From his from his bed, he got up from his bed. Why did he get up from his bed? Why did what made him get up from his bed at night? So you may think he just couldn't sleep, as if Hashem was beginning the test, so he couldn't sleep. That's not what happened. It's very interesting. He he sorry, did he go up every night? Well, for chatzot, he got up from his bed the way he would have been sleeping. It says, and what did he do? He sorry. Yeah, exactly, like Hashorosh. It wasn't the case. The Gemara says, Amar of Yehuda, he actually was preparing himself for this test. He actually, as Albert said, he had other wives, and he actually had relations in the day so that he shouldn't have desires in the night. So he'd taken... He'd taken Precautions. He, precaut- he was ready, yeah, he was really try- you know, not to fail this test. But, he had escaped in the halacha that says, there's a, there's a small. Must be all right, Must be all right, Marivo Saber, right? That, that, that the person that actually works the other way around. It's counterintuitive that if you try to, to quench your desires, you think that will take them away, it actually makes them increase. Fine. So that didn't work for him. We're not going to dwell on that. The, the Gemara says, the, the, the Pasuk says he walked on the, on the roof. Pasuk says, He walked on the roof of the, of the, of the palace. And he saw a woman um, washing on, on the rooftop. Now, Gemara explains what happened, though, because uh, Batsheva was not uh, just some, um, you know, some low-life person just washes on the roof just like people could see her. But Sheba was, was a tzaddik, tzaddik. She was the, the mother of, of Shlomo Melech. So what happened? How did he see her? So Gemara explains. The ha'isha tovat mar'em, or that she was very beautiful. But Sheba kahava kahayafa resha tute halata. She was washing her hair under a halata, the Rashi says, is a kaveret. Um, a kaveret normally means a beehive. A beehive. I think what I think what it means is some sort of structure where you would bees would be able to make a hive. So it would be like so some sort of metal or, or a wooden a cover, and she was under that um, um, showering. She was covered. Atas satan. The satan came. This was a kashem preparing this test. The satan came. Idmile kesiparta. He he looked like a bird. So David Amelech, when this bird was disturbing him, he saw there's something over there, he's not sure what's going on, he saw his bird coming in his way. So he wanted this bird out of the way. Patak he, Begira, he, he aimed an arrow at it, he threw an arrow at it, shot an arrow at it. Patka, it, it, it hit it or he missed it. Patka le halata, and it, and it hit, instead of the bird, it hit this, this um, clee, this thing that was covering her, and, and, it, just, and, it, and, it, and it broke it. He, 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 uh, he revealed her and he saw a glimpse of her from this arrow that he shot. It, it, it just opened for a short amount of time and he saw a glimpse of her. And he yard straight away. That was, that was the, the, the test clip, the test setting. That was the test. And, and, and he, 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 this was his test. And it says straight away, 
Vayidrosh Lisha, he sent his messengers to find out who she is. Vayome, and they said, Halo Zot Bat Sheva Bat Eliam Eshet Uriah Hiti. This is Bat Sheva, the, the son, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah Hiti. Uriah the, the Hittite. Sorry? The wife. the wife, it says, yes, the wife. In this, the, the Pasuk says it was his wife. Vayishlach David Malachim Aikahed. David sent messengers and he took her. Vatavo Elav, and she came to him. Vayishkavi Ma, and he had relations with her. Vayi mit Kadeshet mitumata. And the Pasuk points out, for whatever reason, that he, that she just went to the mikveh that night. Vatesh, Vatash Obel Bata, and she went back to her house. Well, she was the king, he, and, and, and the Gemara, he, I don't think the Gemara here says it. The Gemara somewhere else says that she, well, if you, if you, if you, if you, the, the, also, the Gemara says in, in, I think in Shabbat says that she, that she, um, not, this does this isn't, takes, this doesn't really justify, there's still a big question on David Amelech, but the, she had been, she had been, um, her husband, had, why, the reason it points out her husband is that she, her husband has been sent as one of the warriors to the front line in battle. And the Minhag was, if you're sent to the front line in battle, you write a get. You write a, you write a get. So, so she was, she was at that stage divorced, but the, but the, 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 but the usual thing would be when you come back, you, re, you go back to them. No, so, in case they died in the battle, right. And the body would never be found. Right, so exactly. So, be aguna. Right, right. So, but that doesn't, as the Mepharshim say, that doesn't, that doesn't exonerate him. That doesn't justify that. I mean, therefore, David is a Sadiq for doing that. He's correctly, as if he, that's okay. The fact is, it would be normal, even though you gave a get, you go back home and you is it remarry her, or the get becomes Batel if you go back home. So, it's still, it's still not, a, it's inappropriate, seemingly inappropriate, for David Amelech to go and take her when she's in this situation. Whether it wasn't Eshetish, it's still it's not considered appropriate and that maybe was the test that was the test the so she he brought her to the house and then and then she went back home the it carries on from there we're going to go more i think next week maybe we'll go more into the details of this test and what happened afterwards but i want to i, I want to just i want to ask something yeah like no go on yeah she was divorced yeah what's the test but as I say, because it's inappropriate for her to him to. Why? What do you mean? If she wants Eshedi, she's a test. He fell. She's not Eshedish. But she would. The way it works is it's, it's a divorce or tonight. If he comes back, then it gets Batel, right? Yeah. So she's Taluv or Med. She's, it, 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 it's hanging. Yeah, and and, and, not, and you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be with her assuming he's coming back. It's like the guy eating your comments. It's like the guy eating your comments. The guy eating your comments. Oh, after you've sold it. Oh, thinking that maybe, yeah. Okay, I see that. <laughs> but he's got it. But but he's got it. But he, from his point of view, shouldn't eat it because he knows you want it back eventually. It's not it's nice of him to do. It's not appropriate. Maybe this is the answer to the person that said we should always That's what the Gemara says. I'm saying from that Gemara. That's the Gemara. Yeah. Sorry, I'll tell you what I've learned as well. The reason why they said Adam and Eva because when somebody has a bit of a chuba, no, 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 that's not the Gemara, not saying that. Gemara, let, we'll see this Gemara, let's we'll, we'll discuss this, we'll, 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 uh, we'll analyze that Gemara, that's important. If, if that, that, right, so we'll, we'll discuss that separately, that's a whole other discussion. The, the Gemara in Shabbat says that any, anybody who thinks that he's Chodesh, not Chodesh. The, the basic understanding that Gemara is, the Gemara, there's clearly an Chet, because they had an Isayon, right, as you say, otherwise if he didn't do anything wrong, then what was his test? Not the, 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 what the Gemara is saying is there, but where you read Sukim without the understanding of the Gemara we just said, then you just see here somebody who just pulled, saw a nice woman and just took her. That's a mistake. Don't think that that's. And look, don't look at face value what the test that he, the sin was that. But to say there was no sin at all means there was no Nisayon, and that doesn't make sense. So it's as if don't take it at face value. That's what Gemara is saying. I mean, Reuven, yeah? It says about Reuven the same thing it says there. Yeah. Anybody who says Reuven sinned is, 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 is mistaken. Now, the fact is, what does Reuven in the Psukim say? Says that Reuven slept was with the wife of Yaakov. Was with that? So he was, he thinks that that's what he did is mistaken because we know that he he mixed that he switched the bed. So did he, he did something wrong? Yaakov gave him a, a klala when he, Yaakov before he died said the He told him off. 
So the Gemara is saying, don't take at face value, you think this is what he did, he actually did something else. That's what the Gemara can be. But we'll look at it more closely. But look at the team in Perek Nun Aleph. Oh, yeah, we're going to, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. He did. We're going to come to that, Michelle. He, he, we, the David Amelech spent the rest of his life. David, we're going to see, we'll see further in the story, maybe next week. He, David Amelech took her, and then he eventually ended up sending her out to sending her out to um, yeah. sending the husband out. He came back. Uriah yeah. came back, and he sent him back, and he sent him back yeah. in, and he was killed. Yeah. And and yeah. and and David and Natan and Avi came to him and said. We'll see in more detail. He came to him and said, "You've done something wrong," and he accepted he, he sinned, and he and, and he spent the rest of his life doing teshuva. The rest of his life. That's why you find Tehillim is so yeah, full exactly. of people of David Amelech begging for forgiveness. And anybody who feels they need to do teshuva, how do I express it to Hashem? How do I go about expressing this uh, this this ache, this pain I have that I did something wrong and I want to express Hashem how sorry I am? You open a Tehillim and you use the words of David Amelech. So David, there was something there that David Amelech spent his life doing teshuva for. But what he did teshuva for is not what seems at face value, but it was a much more subtle sin, but it's still on his, certainly a sin. The, the, let's just see a little bit further in the Gemara, and I want to, I want to just, I want to ask a, a couple of questions. So, he saw her, he took, he took her, Bahainu dichtiv, bahanta libi pakata lai, sarafatni batim sazin moti, bayavopi. I want to carry a little bit, I want to jump a little bit. The Gemara says, at the bottom line, second bottom line, the Gemara says, V'chen tana de Rabbi Ishmael. The Be'er Rabbi Ishmael says, this is a brighter, Re'uya hayta le David bat sheva bat ela aliyam. That really she was suitable for him. She was, meaning, what does it mean suitable? It means, really bat sheva was the person destined, it says, I think, Meshesha de Mebe, look at the line before it says, she was destined for him. She was the right person for him. She was the one. It's, the the, the Benish Chai says it, it's implausible that she would be as the mother of Shlomo HaMelech who went on to build the Beit HaMikdash that really she was the wrong person. She was the person supposed to be married to, um, to Uriah Kitty and he grabbed her. She was destined to marry David HaMelech except not yet. Ela she'achla Paga. He ate her as if as an unripe fruit. It wasn't the time yet. He jumped the gun. How did he jump the gun? By being asked to be tested. He asked to be tested. Now, what does it mean to ask to be tested, and why is that wrong? And let's let's go let's go back a bit and 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 what, just discuss a bit more what it means to be tested. When what, what what is a test? What what does a test do? What's the purpose of Hashem testing us? Let's ask this question. What is the purpose of purpose of Hashem testing someone? Creation. Sorry. The faith of his creation. Faith of his creation. So, what, what, what's the what's the what, what's the benefit of, of, of Hashem testing someone? Adding te- of, of what, what's to, the purpose? To, 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 it's, it, to make sure he's still loyal to. To him. check him. To, to check, check the person. That he's actually. That's what we're here for. That is what we're here for. That's what we're here for to be tested and to be. So what? So what does it do? It. So what does it do? It, it, sorry. Get get, get a good result. Hashem, it shows, it's the way Hashem shows that He loves His house, so. Uh, can we pass the test or not? Because, yeah, think, no, because. He wants you to show Him that you love yeah, Him. Yeah, also because He assumes that you can. Well, He doesn't I assume, also, He knows yeah. you can. He means He's got confidence in you. Yeah. I believe also when uh, you have a test, yeah. it's important because in the life also you have lots of benefits out of. Oh, so that's so that's one point. Is the benefits you have? What you grow yourself by being tested. Yeah. You grow yourself. So, for example, I'll give a mashal. I'll give it. Let's say a mashal. I was just thinking about it because I, I read on the news that that somebody the other day in the heat with this heat wave. So there was a, the soldier by in Buckingham Palace. Um, there was a, a few soldiers actually. They they you know, they stand with the with the hats and the whole get and everything, and they're the boiling, yeah. And and a few of them fainted. They just went head first, boom, out of their line. They all lined up in in guarding the palace, and this one just fainted. It was just sweltering hot. Uh, and so if you think of a soldier that's standing there, you know, like a soldier that don't blink, they're not allowed to move, and they 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 stand to attention for hours on end in the full garb, in the full kit. 
boiling hot, real, real self. Um, se- uh, um, sorry, this is a test. Yes, a test. So they gain. To me, there's two things they, that come to my mind. I see what they gain from it. So first of all, a person, a person gains from it self. Um, Self control. He, he can now he, he build the strength, inner strength and self control. A person grows like that. So, somebody who's going to practice standing like that for hours on end, like a soldier, he's going to gain self control in a simple way, just very simple self control. Things that we do, are, we're going to grow from them. So, we go through hardships in our life and we become a bigger person after that. A person who's been through, you know, have an older person who's been through a life, he's been through many, many hardships, he, he, he becomes a, a bigger person. And they said of Mr. Um, I what his name is, who owns K. Um, you know, the, the, the just, just it's just gone overnight. Like three Lans- shops it just disappeared. Mr. Lan- Lansberg. Lansberg. Mr. Lansberg, he said apparently. I mean, I, I, I've seen him building up those shops over the years. It started with a small shop, refurbished, blah, 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 overnight, just gone. And and he said, of the list of the things that happened in my life, of the things I've gone through, this doesn't even come onto the list. That's what he said. <laughs> so, so, so people have. I, I don't know his life. I don't know him personally. I tell you, but yeah. a test. When a person tests another person, yes, and there is a positive result, yes, the bond between those two people. It's unbreakable. So I think that's something that Rafi was getting to. That it's, it's a way of Hashem building his connection that's with it. you. That's unbreakable. So if I have, for example, I say I've got working uh, staff working for me, and if they are, I send them to a mission and, and I can see they were loyal, they loyal, did it well, they, they put the heart into it. So I go fond of him, he trusts me more, he works for me, he becomes more loyal to me, Bills and then we build a. a a, a good relationship between us. Yeah. Uh, guess what? Yeah. 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 If you pass it, no, by passing it, by passing it, yeah. no, then it ruins it. Yes. Yeah. But the fact that he tried, he wants us to, to yes, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, but says that it was God tested everyone ten times because he was loved, meaning he was loved before the test. Right? Loved in the past tense. He, he, he says, oh, it brings a pasuk Avraham or Avi. Yeah, that he tested to show, that he, because he, he loved, loved him, he was, loved. he was already loved, I he gave him the test. So it okay. shows okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's the test of the apple. Yeah. He got married, he had seven years to work. Yes. Before and that showed his, his connection, his love for Rachel. So the, the whole idea of a, te- of a test is take a test and then you pass, or hopefully you pass, and then it's to prepare you for the next stage. So that's in terms of you growing. So that's in terms a person of you yeah, inside in terms you. Of if you take the whole test as a whole, mm-hmm. why does he test you in general? Put it all life together. Mm-hmm. Then it's to prepare you for the next bit. For all my bar. So well, this is all personal story. growing. This is all a, you're talking about the personal yeah, side. Yeah. Selwood may have said, which is something very, oh, I think sorry, I think very clever because you cannot be tested into a very high level. You've got to be prepared to test to that, like Abraham Avinu. In, in stages. In stages. Yes, yes. If you give me a it's very high test. It's not a test. test. If you give something too hard, it's not a test. It's going to fail. Test, I will to fail. But if yes. you test me, I'm, I'm passing, I'm passing, I'm passing. So it's prepare, it's building you, building you stronger, stronger. So this is all, so I want to add another dimension to it. That the, we call it a nisayon, a ness. A ness means that what you said is true. It, that is honestly true, it's right. I think there's another dimension as well. And these are more, and this is really where the test of the avot come in particularly. And it ties in what we said before. That, pardon me, a ness, a nisayon is a ness to show. When Hashem gives a test, He's giving an opportunity for us to show, to bring out the kavod shamayim, to bring out the splendor of Hashem. Meaning, to go back to this soldier. The soldier, on the one hand, builds his, his self discipline, his strength, his willpower, but he does another thing. By you looking at that soldier, you look at a line of soldiers. And you see them standing there for hours on end to, to attention, you know, just like not move, just just not moving, not budging, completely subservient to the to the queen in the case. That in itself is is great kavod for the queen, great respect for the queen. That that's the splendor of malchut, of 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 of, of kingship, of 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 the of the. Um, the majest- that, that's great majesty. That shows that there's people who are completely committed to, to her, committed to, the, to the, the, the queen or the king, that they're going to stand with such determination and such um, um, 
Misirut Nefesh. When you have people all around, the self-sacrifice, the, it's, the, the person grows from it, that's for sure, and that's all true, but it brings out, when you're looking at someone looking at it, sees great Kavod Shamayim, great Kavod Malchut, yeah. great majesty. And that's, a, that's, that's an amazing thing. That's called the Nisayon, the nest. That's what's being demonstrated by passing these tests, by doing these tests. When Avraham, when Adam is, when Avraham is and Yaakov passed their te- when they had these tests, they are, that's what the, 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 we mentioned in Midrash of being a Merkava Lashchina, being a bringing out the, the majesty, the, the splendor, the, 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 the um, respect for, for Hashem in the world by having these tests. And he was asking, David al was asking, so he said, he said you, you may be great. Hashem said to him, you may be great. You may be, uh, uh, you've been so great up to now. You've done everything right. You're a great king. You're a big tzaddik. But they have had nisyonot. They have had uh, occasions to spread. That you at the moment are like Shem, Hashem says to him. You haven't had a nisayon. You haven't had the opportunity to, the people seeing you, Kvod Shamayim, like a Mechavach Kina. You're like Noach, like Shem. You're an individual who've grown greatly. They've had Nisyonot. And, 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 and Hashem, and Hashem, and David Averch says, fine, I, will, I feel I can be that type of character that can bring out Kvod Shamayim in such a strong way, that can, the, the majesty of Hashem can be displayed through my actions. And that, David Averch said, Hashem, so David Averch says, give me a test. And Hashem said, okay, you want a test? I'll give you a test. So what did he do wrong? Who? David Amenech. Why why are Yavi Adam that small date? Why why should you not bring yourself to a to a test? Maybe because. Then what are we gonna say? We're gonna say something else about it. Either on you ask no, I'm gonna say something with oh, why then? Because uh-huh. he disagreed with the plan. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, obviously there is first of all you're asking God to change. But what I'm saying more well, which plan do you mean? I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. We learn that God never gave us a test we cannot pass. Yes, yeah, fair. that's true. And he gave a test to David Amela here. He knew, well, well, he knew that he's not going to pass it. Ah, but when did he fail the test? First of all, he failed it by asking for oh, the test. Oh, exactly. That's, that's what he, he did wrong. He put himself, so he, maybe it was a full conclusion. He couldn't pass because the, he failed already by asking. The, the, the Nisayon, everybody has, everybody in their small way is, is, is like the soldier, that a person sees, you know, you see somebody committed, you know, we see you committed to, to Hashem, you know, it's, it's a big uh, Kiddush Hashem, you come to Bekanel, we see you. It, it, it's, 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 uh, it's like the soldier in the palace, where people going through trials, tribulations, trying hard, really stuck. Nisayon not means situations that are really difficult, where a person says, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I, I, I don't need this. This is too hard for me. This is not what's Hashem doing here. What's the idea? You know, people all the time saying, why is God bringing all these troubles, all these problems? Or, or it could be the positive as well. You're constantly, day by day, keeping Torah mitzvot, constantly doing positive, constantly growing and committing your life. When a person has an opportunity to go and go and uh, uh, watch a football match and they come to a shiur, a person shows that their commitment is to Hashem. People sitting in a shiur. It, it's, a, it, it's a great... It's a great Kiddush Hashem. It's a great revelation of Kvot Shamayim that, that people see in that that are, these people are committed to Hashem, and and that that everyone can have. But we have to realize that how we b- do the Kvot Shamayim, how we bring out Kvot Shamayim. Everybody's got their own way of doing it. Everybody has their own lives and their own tests and their own situations, their own abilities, their own framework. How we bring out Kvot Shamayim is not our business. That's not w- our job. Our job is to Past the tests that are put in our path, to to deal with the situations that Hashem creates for us that He knows are right for us, it's not for us to say, as Rava says, Rav Yehuda says, Amar Rav says, Le'olam an yavi adam atzmoli deni sayon. Don't say to Hashem, test me, test me. I want to bring out for Shamayim in that way. I want to do that. You, you you're making the plans. You know what you're capable of. Uh, you, the life that you're in, with all your trials and tribulations, with all your problems, with all your hardships, is that's what you need. Because that will bring out the Kvod Shamayim that you can bring out. The, the greatness of Hashem comes out. But somebody else can't do that. No one else can do that. In the same way as, as two animals, you see a, a, a snow leopard and you see a, um, a, 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 a what do you call it, like a, 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 I don't know, 
a parrot or something, some beautiful animal, and, and, you, and they bring out the Kvot Shamayim in two different ways. They bring out this amazing, this is an amazing animal that Hashem has created, but unique, each one unique. Two people can not bring out the same, bring out the, the majesty of Hashem in the same way. To, each person will do it in a different way. Two soldiers will be wearing two different... I believe that the test that Kadosh Baruch Hu was going to give to David Amelech later, if he was going to give a test, totally different test. It could be possible. I and don't I, know. And I'll tell you why well, I think it's it should yeah. be a different test. Because by him passing this test, nobody would know. This test? No, no, he wouldn't be. But how would he know? Yeah, yeah fair. Because like, nobody. It's only him. So some. The test. Well, the question is like this: Does every test that you has do to exactly. have to be? No, that's another question. Yeah, you can ask. Let me ask this question. Michelle has a good question. This is supposed to be what an Israel would take into the level of one of the Avot. No, but he well, wouldn't. He was have been the one that he would have had had he it been in the yeah. right time. But how it would have come out in the right so time? You would I don't think know. That would have to be center stage. Ex- exactly. Possibly. Yes. Possibly. Yes. Exactly. That's what Michelle's saying. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm saying, the mayor. That that he wanted to change the. Plan. I mean, the plan in terms of what he, the way he's supposed to bring out. I think Shammai. God wanted to show you. You want to test how to share the cat and a glimpse he, he felt. Yes, because because he was tr- trying to change the the framework of how what he's supposed to have in his life. So we, it, it's it's really an understanding that the situations we're put in, that everyone's in, is 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 exactly exactly tailor made for them. And Hashem knows the way that we can bring out Kvot Shemayim. The way, it, just as in an orchestra, everyone knows he's mashal. We've got a person, there's a person with a nice voice, a person who's good at an instrument, there's a person who's a conductor, everyone's got the right way, and the person does the wrong, doesn't work. It doesn't do, and even if you're good at it, you don't do it in time, you don't do it in the right time, you start playing, the violin piece starts playing too early in the orchestra, you messed up the, you messed up the, the, the symphony. It's got to be in the right place when Hashem brings it out, when he, when he cruises. You know, we'll have people who will, who will, um, they have, you'll have people, let's say, who will get into situations where they, 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 they don't keep Torah mitzvot, and then they do Teshuvah, and, then, and that is the situation they've been put in. It, it can be that they, they, they are accountable for being in that situation, it could be that they grew up like that, and they don't really know anything more, and they come through that, and they, and they, and they, and they grow from that. But each person has their own situation that they grew up in. The, the, the question... So this is the Gemara is saying that you shouldn't bring yourself into a, into a test because he would have he would have carried on he would have come to a situation when the test was the right time and it could be that he would have he would have and he would have passed and then he would have been an okay David exactly. he would have had the the option of the David what a test would be let me ask another question this way we'll finish off with this question I don't know if I have an exact answer for this these types of tests that we're talking about of bringing out Kavod Shamayim of bringing out the the person showing the greatness of Hashem by showing how committed you are. Do, does that have to be a test that everyone can see? So, for example, this test. If somebody passes, somebody has a great, great uh, desire to look, at, to look at women, let's say, and, he, and all he does is he walks down the street and he doesn't look. So what did he do? He's exactly like, he, so if I did that and I passed the test because I, I can't, and I, and I walk down looking normal, and Michelle walked down the road and he doesn't have an issue with that at all. It's not his issue. And he just walks down and, and it, nothing happens. So we look the same. So no one saw the difference. So but is that the type, is that a test or does it have to be it's, something that everyone can perceive? It's a test for us. Because we don't want to be called uh, Eloke David. No, I'm asking, but everybody has yeah, these tests in a small way. Yes, but he wants to be called uh, Eloke David. That's why his test should has be. Ah, be, oh, you're saying uh, those tests of the Avot has to be everyone knows about. Yeah, you think about sacrificing Yitzchak, no one yeah. knew about it. Well, the tw- okay, no. well, I, 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 I think people did. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. In, in your, also, so, your test. It's from when you wake up and kill you sleep, is the test. Yes. And it's due to a selection in the lady love that I'm sharing this with you. Pardon? Oh, it's, what's sorry? It's due? Selection. Like, uh, like we were talking about the benefits, about how you can bring up in the life. The way, the way you live every day. That's yes, yes, yes. So we all have a te- whole of time we've been tested. That's for sure. Yeah. But we, we, but, so that's, but the point here that I think I want to say is that it's about the test we're focusing on here is the is not so much a test that the aspect of them building us. That's true. What I'm talking about here is a test in terms of bringing out Kvod Shamayim. And that, that demonstration, that's what's called the Nisayon, the Ness, it shows, Nasa Ness, and it shows Kvot Shamayim. David, then that's the Merkavala Shechina, that's that chariot that brings out Kvot Shamayim. David Amelech asked for that, and he, 
and what's interesting is we can take it a stage further. We find that we have the Tefillah sometimes says, "Al tevieni li We we find that when we have it, when we have a test, we pray to Hashem they should help us because that's part of passing the test. It's not failure when you say to Hashem, "I've got a big yetsar after this. Please help me overcome it." That's showing your will to overcome it by asking Him to help you. That's not called. That's not failure. We can maybe develop, talk about that a bit more, but. We pray that Hashem shouldn't bring us to test as well, meaning don't bring us to tests that are the wrong types of tests. Don't bring us to tests that we're not going to be able to overcome. Bring us, give us just what is for us. Give us what's for us. That's what we're asking for. And then we'll, we'll stop those. But as Hashem, we, we hope that we, we will pass tests and we can, in our small way, bring a little bit of Kvot Shamayim. That when people look at us, it doesn't have to be, Kvot Shamayim doesn't have to be. Um, Sacrificing. sacrificing our son, yeah. It doesn't have to be, yeah, it doesn't have to sacrifice our son. It doesn't have to be even things, you know, think of Kvot Shammai means Kiddush Hashem means being uh, polite to the old lady on the exactly. bus. Yes, that is also Kvot Shammai, it's for sure Kvot Shammai. But Kvot Shammai is being committed to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, being committed, saying what Hashem wants me to do, what His will is, that's what I want to do. That's the commitment I want to do. So I know that He wants me to speak kindly to people, and I know that He wants me to develop myself to improve my midot. I know that He wants me to do to feel he wants me to learn Torah, he wants me to, to be committed to his mitzvot and keep away from the rot. That commitment in itself is Kvot Shamayim. That in itself brings you see that's like this you see a soldier who's prepared to stand there, and that creates a whole majestic landscape, a whole uh, that creates great kavod for the king. And that we should be zochet a little bit of that. We'll count, I think we'll carry on with the story next week. We'll analyze more of the story and we'll bring out some more ideas. Should it be a very exercise even